And he called the teacher, Sandana Marka, what is this? Are you teaching him about Vishnu, the teachings of Krishna? I shall punish you. And then he said to Hiranyakaspur, no, 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 don't punish us. We are not at fault. We have only followed your orders. Then how is it that he has become like that? There must be someone in the garb or guise of a Vaishnava poisoning him. Yeah. Then he asked Pranath, where did you learn this? Pranath said, my father. Nante Vidu Swartha Katim Hi Vishnu Durashaya Bahiratha Manina Andaya Tanda Yirupadi Yamanas Tam Tishti Tantyam Uri Dhamni Badaha. He said, My dear father, I am very sorry yeah, for those like you who are absorbed in this material existence. They will never be able to understand that the real goal is to obtain the guidance, the shelter, the lotus feet of Vishnu. Rather, you cannot understand what is the real goal, what is your real fortune, how to be happy and how to attain perfection. You have chosen a guru, a leader who is blind like you. Why? In this material world, we all want happiness and we think that this person can help me. I will go to this school, this university. This famous person, he will give guidance. He has written a book, how to be happy and how to master the material energy and manipulate it in such a way that we can obtain self gratification. But what is, this? what is this? This is like a blind man who wants to find a way and he holds the hand of another blind man. What is their destiny? Holding the hand of one blind man, the other blind man, they both fall into the ditch. And they are lost forever. So this is the goal, my dear father, the last session, of a person like you who is always absorbed in the external energy. I can give you advice, my dear father. Only yeah, if you want to come out of this situation, anyone who is absorbed in the material energy, who thinks he can be happy in this world, there is only one way to come out of this. And that is to roll in the dust of the lotus feet of pure sadhus, pure Vaishnavas. Yeah. Take the dust of the lotus feet and smear it all over your body. Only by that process, my dear father, will the strong, deep impressions of sense gratification disappear from your heart. And you will receive inspiration to worship Krishna. Not only that, father, I will give you one more advice. You are actually a hopeless case, Prabhat said. Madhirna Krishna Paratak Satova Father, your mind, intelligence is absorbed completely in Griha Bhradhanam. You have taken a vow to stay in this material world and make your home, your Sense gratification, the goal of your life. Who has taken a vow? Who thinks that he can be happy in this world? I will build my house. I will collect so many items. Horses, cats, dogs, children, money, cars. I will take interest in cultivating yeah, the temporary goal in this material world. I will become a popular person and look after so many social amenities and be a useful, responsible person. All these things, my dear brother, who have taken vow and interest to make this the goal of their life. Even if they sit together, come together and hear instructions about the spiritual benefits that one can obtain in life, he will not be able to understand it. Why? Because he has made that vow, I shall be happy in this world. 
and I don't worry what comes after this life. Yeah. For them, what are they doing? They are chewing that which has been chewed time and time again. What did our forefathers do? What did our grandfather do? Our father, our forefathers, the same thing. They thought we should be happy in this world. Yeah. If they were actually yeah, spiritually inclined, we will be very, very fortunate. But in general, 99.9 .9 of the population, they think we should be happy by getting married, earning money, having happiness from collecting so many items in our household, raising children, looking after them, and in the meantime, day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, their life passes in vain. And at the end of their life, oh my God, where am I going? They have no idea. And again, they will rotate in the 8 million 400,000 species which are available in this world according to that karma. But in the human form of life, they can actually transcend this eternal, continuous cycle of birth and death in which we have become, become entrapped since time immemorial. That Pranam is explained to his father here. He said, but father, those who are not able to appreciate this knowledge because they have made a vow to be happy in this world, they are simply engaged in chewing that which has been chewed so many times before. Like a dog. What is his business? Yeah. A dog is running after another dog yeah. who has a bone, who he has somehow found digging up in the earth, he has found the bone. What was the origin of that bone? Some other dog has buried that bone in the, in the, in the ground. He has been chewing it and chewing it. The dog finds the bone. He wants to chew it. Another dog comes and they fight and then one runs away with the, with, the, with the bone. And what is happening? Chewing that bone, he thinks how tasteful it is. What is actually happening? His jaws are getting screwed up and he tastes his own blood. Yeah. This is chewing the chew. We are trying so much to enjoy sense gratification, but what is the price? We have to work very, very hard day and night. And a little bit of sense gratification is obtainable in the form of sex life and in the form of looking after the small children. But when you when the small children become big and they don't listen to you anymore, yeah, and they take drugs and do whatever they want to do, where is the happiness? Sorrow after sorrow, problem after problem. Yeah. So this is the position of those who have made a vow to stay in this world. My dear father Pranath said, you are very, very unfortunate. You will not be able to understand this. Then what happened after that, we will hear from the next speaker. Oh, became so angry, he became red. And he wanted to kill him to love by throwing from the mountains, giving in ocean, in fire, snakes biting. Poisonous food, so many things. His one sister was Holika. Holika. <coughs> she has some food that she will not burn in fire. She took Prahlad and entered in fire. She, she was dead, burned into ashes and Prahlad. Okay, well, as it is coming from snow house. <laughs> In this way, he tried so much to kill Prada, but he could not. 
then he began fear. Oh, due to this boy, I will be killed. Oh. Then he began very different. Then September, they told, Oh, my father is outside, Sukhrasha, he will come and he will do and they are, are too big to come and he will change the boy. So again they took them. But how Trinath Kashapu was so powerful? Previously he went to a mountain <coughs> and standing on a toe of one feet, four standing for 60,000 years. Brahma saw that everything is stopped in this world. Then he came to Hiranyakashipu and told that I'm satisfied, you should ask any groom. Hiranyakashipu told, I should be immortal. immortal. Anyone can, in whole life I will be. Say, no one can kill me. Brahma told, I cannot give this. But instead of anything else you should ask. Then he told that I should not die in daytime, night time. I should not die by I should not be killed by any animal or any man or dana by the devil, snakes. I should not be killed in any year. Not in the sky, <coughs> not in up and on earth or anyone that you have created Brahma. Oh, by they cannot kill me. Oh, yes. I'm getting the same. So, by this moment, he became very, very powerful. He conquered Indra. All demons became his subordinates. And thus, but those who are Doing bhajan, they are very powerful. Always Krishna protects them. So, Hiranyakashko could not kill him. So, one day, Sandamarka asked. Uh, Sandamarka went for any okay. uh, job. And made Pradhan tutor, monitor of the class. When the two <coughs> brothers, Sandamar, went outside, then all boys began to tell that, oh, we should play. But Pradhan Maharaj told that, oh, listen me first and then play. And then what he told? Krishna Krishna So first of all I have to pronounce the Lord's Spirit of Guru Dev on Vishnu Pad, Sishana Bhaktivedanta Rayan, Goswami Swami Maharaj, Chitali Sanyasis, Brahmacharis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis. Thank you for coming to hear some Harikata. So Sri Guru Dev has ordered us to discuss what Prabhupada told the demon sons. So Sandhana Marka had gone outside 
and they put Pralad in charge of the classes. So all the boys began to muck around and play. Then Pralad said, no, no, don't. You should come and hear something. You should worship and serve the Supreme Lord. Then the boys said, Pralad, we don't know anything about worship to the Supreme Lord. Then Pralad said, Kaumaram Acharat Pravya Dharma Bhagatamiha Durabala Manasa Janma Tadapi Adruvam Atadam. Pralad said, spiritual life should begin from the age of Komara, from the age of five years old. Why? Because this human form of this human form is very rarely achieved. Adruvam Atadam. Even though it's true, this human form of life is also temporary, like other forms of life. It can afford one the greatest benediction. There are 8,400,000 species of life, 900,000 aquatics, Stavarum Lakshadimsati, 2 million types of plant species, Krimio Sankarunyoko, 2,100,000 types of bacteria, worms, germs, and insects, Paxinam, Dasalakshanam, 1 million types of birds, Chatur Lakshanabha, Manava, and only 400,000 species of humans. There are this human form of life is the only form of life in which one can practice spiritual life properly. In the heavenly planets, the demigods have so much material enjoyment, they cannot worship the Lord. And the lower species, there is so much suffering, they cannot remember the Lord. Therefore, this human form of life, even though it's also temporary, there's not too much enjoyment, there's not too much suffering. Therefore, this human form of life, one can engage oneself in remembering the Lord. That is the prime benediction of the human form of life. Therefore, one who gets the human form of life but does not chant the name of Bhagawan, does not remember him, does not offer respects to the Vaishnavas, then that person is like a two-legged animal. Only difference, no horn and no tail. Therefore, Paramahansa said, Komram Acharat Prabhupada, begin spiritual life from five years old. And the boy said, but Prahlad, when we're old and in the wheelchair, then we can do bhajan after we've enjoyed a lot. Then when there's no more enjoyment, then Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Then Prahlad said, no. Because you only live a hundred years. Even nowadays, who lives a hundred years? Most people are popping the cork when they're 70 years or 80 years. Very few people live to a hundred years in this Kali Yuga. Actually, what is the lifespan in America, you know? The real lifespan of a person in America? 50 years. Because there's so much abortion going on. Therefore, just say by some miracle, you live to a hundred years. Pralad Maharaj said, 50 years you lose by sleep. Person who have uncontrolled senses, then they sleep day and night in ignorance. Then if you take a hundred minus 50 years of sleep, how much is left? 50 years. So when you're a child, passing stool in the nappy, crawling here and there, you cannot do anything, you cannot understand the goal of life. So 10 years is lost in childhood. How much is left? 50 minus 10? 40 years. Then 10 to 20, we waste our life playing cricket, playing soccer, going to school. Remember how terrible that was? 10 years lost in playing with friends, mucking around. So that means 40 minus another 10, how many left? 30. Then don't forget old age. 80 to 100, you can only eat mashed potatoes. You cannot think, you cannot speak, you cannot hear because all the senses are destroyed by time. So 80 to 100, 20 years lost. How many left? 10 years. So my friends, in those 10 years, you're gonna get a job, you're gonna get an education, you're gonna get married, you're gonna raise a... Hare Krishna. When is the time for spiritual life? Therefore spiritual life should begin right now. What good things should be done today, a good thing you should not put up to tonight, or even tomorrow. So ladies and gentlemen, spiritual life begins from where? Today. Not even tonight. Now. Take shelter of bona fide guru. Take mantra from him and chant the holy name. Make your lives perfect. So Prahlad said, gave so many wonderful instructions on spiritual life. How can the materialists remember the Supreme Lord at the time of death? Their minds are filled with images of their children, grandchildren, parents, friends, relatives. They're attached to their shops, attached to their businesses, attached to their homes and cars then how they can remember the Supreme Lord? Such persons live in vain. Therefore the boy is asked, Prahlad, how we can start spiritual life? And where did you get all this knowledge from? Then Guru Maharaj just explained, when Hiranyakasipu was standing on one leg, 
with his hands in the air for 60,000 years. That time he went to another place. So his wife, Kayadu, she was pregnant. The Indra came to kill the baby in the womb, Prahlad. But Narayana stopped. That is not any son of any demon. That is a great Mahajan, Prahlad Maharaj. So Kayadu was taken by the great saint Narad Rishi to his bring to his ashram. And Narad Muni, what's he doing day and night? Narad Muni Bajai Bina Adikaramana Name. Narad Muni always chanting Radhi Radha Raman, Radha Raman, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Ram. Day and night he's always speaking topics of Krishna. And Prahlad was there in the womb for 60,000 years. And he heard all spiritual instructions from his guru. Then he was born, he was born with perfect devotion. Are we doing a different thing tonight? What Prahlad Maharaj did millions of years before in Satya Yuga, we don't have to change anything. We only have to hear from a perfect spiritual master. All perfection is achieved just by hearing. Prahlad Maharaj never even saw his guru, but he performed the topmost service to the spiritual master. What's the best service to the guru? Hearing. When Gurudev came to Australia the first time, what do I want from you? He goes, I want your ears. I don't want anything else. It means hear my instructions and try and practice them. This is the greatest dakshin or gift we can give to the spiritual master. So, Guru Susu Saya Bhakta Sabra Dabalina Cha. Sangena Sangha Bhaktena Iswara Arada Naina Cha. Sradaya Takataya Cha. Kitana Guna Karaka. Spiritual life, what's the first step? Taking shelter of the bona fide Guru. And Sadhya loved up an inner child and offered him everything. Why? Because none of us have seen Bhagavan Krishna. You can only see him at the time of perfection. Then how we can understand what is good for us, how to progress in spiritual life? That is Bhagavan's representative, the form of pure Guru. And you should offer him everything. What does that mean? Does that mean we should all come and put on our wills? I give everything to my Gurudev, Siddha Bhakti Dhan, Narayan Raj. Do we hand over all our money, all our cars, all our family members? This is not what Guru wants from us. What does Guru want from us? He's not interested in any material possessions that we have. What does he want? He wants us. No? Our independence. Don't move according to your own desire. Move according to the desire of Gurudev. And Gurudev desires the desire of Bhagavan. They will offer everything we have to the bona fide representative of Krishna. And he will not misguide you if he is a bona fide Guru. No? Therefore, the first step is faith. Faith on Guru, offering him everything. And Guru will teach you what? Sarunena Sangha Bhaktena. Guru will teach you how to associate with the Vaishnavas. Nowadays, people don't take any associate, proper instruction from Guru. They abuse Vaishnavas, they treat everyone very badly, they misuse everyone because they never did Sangha or any Guru. Therefore, Guru teaches how to do Vaishnava Sangha. And then Vaishnavas and Guru will teach you Iswara Arena Ninacha. They will teach you the process of worship of Bhagavan. Prahlad said, what's the worship of Bhagavan? Shradaya Takkathayamscha. He will give you faith in the process of hearing. Then he will teach you <clears throat> Sanketana Guru Karmaka. Then he will teach you how to chant the qualities and activities of Bhagavan. Then Tad Padam Dhyana. He will gradually you will be purified and you can always remember Krishna. Then Tad Langikshara Aranadi and Guru Dev will engage in the service of Takuji, the deity in the temple. So Prahlad gave so many wonderful instructions. If you read 7th Canto of Bhagavatam, you can see the great instructions. But then very easily, the boy said, how we can start? What can we do? Then Prahlad said, it's very easy. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
Tady jsme hali dávno v pískách, i vidět do nám. Her sakis could not bear to see her intense separation mood, 
So they sent a messenger to find out if Krishna was coming or not. Will you please go and see if Krishna is coming or not? On her way, she meets another messenger. <laughs> the messenger returns to Radharani's crew and reports this news to their leader. When hearing this, she becomes very angry when her friend tried to calm her down. I found out where the Chief Sir Krishna is. He's in Chandraki, he's good. Upon hearing this news, Radharani's mood becomes leftish rapidly to the top post degree. Her mood becomes anger. If that Krishna comes, don't allow me inside my coach. He's so ungrateful. He's such a rascal. Krishna comes running. He's out of breath and sees two very fierce doorkeepers. Who are they? Lalita and Vishaka. You unreliable rascal. Where have you been? Radhika has decorated this coach so beautifully. Why have you come so late? I am a great offender. Please tell your Saki I'm here and beg to be excused. Vishaka enters the coach. She finds Radharani crying. Has my Krishna come? Why should Krishna come to me? I'm very ill fated. I will burn his lazy fire of separation. Let me be burned to ashes, but Krishna be happy. Vishaka is unable to say anything because of the condition her Saki is in. She returns to the gate of the Kund. I am a great friend and realized it. But if you let me in, your Saki can see my Shama Sundra form and all the sulkiness will disappear. You cheater! Get out from here! Just get out! I think you have forgotten that although you are Mother Mohan, the enchanter of Cupid, my Saki is Mother Mohan Mohini, the enchanter of Mother Mohan, is our Saki really for your beauty or are you really for her love, Krishna? One day you will have to cry and cry and cry. You will have to cry for Radharani's love. Now just get out of here. Krishna did not know what to do and went to the bank of the Yamuna River and took off all his ornaments and rolled in the mud and began to cry. Punamasi is Yoga Maya and she arranges all the leelas in Rajadumi. Although she knows everything, she still inquired what was wrong with Krishna when she saw him. After Krishna revealed everything to Purnamasi, she sent Vrindadevi to make arrangements for the meeting of Radha and Krishna. I, Vrindadevi, Purnamasi has told me everything. I understand that you have become the rose because Radharani has business to meet you and there is nothing you can do to meet her and break her song. So it is, but one means so. If you do what I say, it is over. Sir, sir, certainly I'll do whatever you say. Cannot understand what to do. I'm simply bewildered. You'll have to give him this cowboy boy dress. You have such nice curling hair in your head, but you have to shave it off. No more curling hair. You'll have to give up that peacock feather too. Don't stand in this way, three pound up, bent in three places. Give up all these things. As for your blackish body, no. Take off your yellow garment. Put on a saffron garment and become a beggar. Throw away your more and flute. Yes, Krishna, no more enchanting you. But I will give you an instrument, a tambourine, and I will teach you a very beautiful song. Then by singing and playing the tambourine, go to Radha's kunj. If you do what I say, and then there is some hope for you to meet her. Krishna immediately took the form of Sanyas Thakur. Sanyas Thakur arrives at the gate singing a song. Vishaka and Lalita see him. Oh, Sanyas Thakur, where did you learn such a beautiful song from? I am a guru, Gandharika, and she has taught me the song. Why have you come here and what do you want? I am a sannyasi. I do not want anything from this material world. I have given everything up. All right, sannyasi Taku. My dear Saki is very distressed. Can you calculate the fortune of my Saki? Oh yes, I know how to do that. My 
Guru has taught me how to calculate fortune. Please be chill while I fetch my sock. Come and see a night of yas who has come to read your fortune. Excuse me, but I cannot understand any lady. I am a sannyasi. Then how can you calculate? By seeing the lines on my forehead, remove the veil, and I will calculate. Our oh, sake does not look at any push made in this world. Why is this? I am a dandy sannyasi. I have given up everything. I am only a beggar praying for prayer. Ishaka removes the veil, and Sanya's tongue forms changes into Krishna and decides to crowd around him. Oh, Rade, all your leaders are meant for my pleasure. You do not want to touch the body of no one but me. Just then, I do not want to touch the body of anyone but you. When your leftist food is heightened, I get some pleasure out of it. I could not find any other means to break his office. This is why I put on this Sanyasi cloth and became a beggar. Pray to each other. This is how Krishna has to cry. Krishna has to cry and become a Sanyasi, begging for the love of Radharani. In the meantime, Kundamasi had ordered Rindadevi to engage all the Rajaris in decorating the Kunj. So they have decorated the Kunj and swing for Radha and Krishna. This is the Majari Bhava Seva. Our mood is as Majari Bhava, and we just offer service to Radha and Krishna in that mood.